following points are the vertices of a parallelogram. And what we're going to do is plot these points to get an idea of what this means. But you also have to keep in mind that a parallelogram means that it's a four-sided figure where the opposite sides are parallel. Now here's our parallelogram and what you can notice is that the opposite sides, and it's kind of skinny so it's tough, tough to see, but the opposite sides are sides AB and sides CD. So we have to prove that those two sides are parallel. And also sides AD and BC are um, opposite, so we have to show that those two sides are um, are parallel. So going back to our question now, what we have to do is show that slope AB and CD are the same, and so we calculate the slope by using the equation y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and here we're going to allow the points in B to be the second point and the points in A to be the first point. So this is y2, this is y1, x2 is 14, um, y1 is, oh, sorry, x1 is 2. So we sub into the equation, so 11 minus 1 and 14 minus 2, and make sure you get the order correct. And that simplifies to be 10 over 12, which reduces to 5 over 6. Now looking at CD, the slope we can calculate the same way. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. y2 is negative 5. y1 is 5. y2, or sorry, x2 is negative 6. And x1 is 6. So negative 5 take away 5 over negative 6 take away 6 is negative 10 over negative 12. When you divide it, uh, the negative signs cancel out. And so you end up with 10 over 12. 10 over 12 reduces to 5 over 6. So since lines A, B, and C, D have the equal slopes, these lines are parallel. So the first set of lines we've shown to be parallel. So now I have to look at slopes B, C, and A, D. And going through the same steps um, will allow C to be the second point. So 5 minus 11 over 6 minus 14 and that, that simplifies to be negative 6 over negative 8. And once again, that reduces to 3 over 4. For AD, we're going to allow the D to be the second point. So to be negative 5, take away 1. And negative 6, take away 2. And when you subtract these and watch your signs, ends up being, again, negative 6 over negative 8, which also reduces to 3 over 4. And since BC and AD have equal slopes, these two lines are parallel. And that means, then, that since AB is parallel to CD and BC is parallel to AD, then ABCD is a parallelogram. Quite a mouthful. So going back to the diagram, what this means is that these two lines we showed that the slopes were equal, so those two lines are parallel. And also, uh, CD and AB had equal slopes, so those two lines are parallel. So the opposite sides of the parallelogram uh, have equal slopes, 